Fortress the Water and Freeze Damage Prevention System has four elements. Uh, detection, detection of the water or freeze, prevention of the damage, uh, alert of the customer with strobe or light, and notifying the customer with uh, security or through email or text messages. So these are the four elements. Now on the detection side we have the sensors which are wireless sensors. And there are three different categories. Lithium battery, which are the first generation, and they come in the LED or buzzer. This is the small factor. Wow. These are like two and a half years old in production, certified. Then it's a newer generation that also comes with the buzzer or LED, but with double A alkaline battery. It's a little bit bigger. The sensing is still on the back side, they sit on the floor. The life of the battery is double than this. And it's easier to find. Right. Everybody has alkalines. <laughs> the third one that is not on the display, it's a, a NEMA 4 waterproof enclosure that has two probes. One probe is for water temperature. Another probe is for water level. It's a probe like this type. Uh, the third probe is on the bottom of the case for water detection. And also inside it's a thermos thermocouple that measures air temperature. So we have water temperature, air temperature, you can measure differential between the two. You have water level, you have water detection. It's powered by the plug-in, 9 volt or 12 volt. Also you have backup batteries. So that's a kind of universal. You can throw it in a garage and you can leave it for 10 years, 15 years, forget about it. It's just monitoring your house. So we cover kind of all angles with the sensors. Now if something happens, like a water leak, refrigerator, toilet, whatever, pipe sends a message to the controller, the controller relays to the valve. The valve automatically shuts off with you home or without you, shuts off the water. You can also shut off the water manually. You know, with the local probe, if it's hanging and you monitor around the basement, you can monitor with the local probe. Or if you lose power, you still want to shut off, you go manually. You can turn it. This works in two modes, in the water damage prevention mode or in water irrigation mode. In water irrigation mode, typically you want to measure flow of water, how many gallons. Right. So we'll, we'll work with generic uh, flow meters that have RS-232 or pulse. So, the next unit is the siren strobe. Uh, siren strobe is like a multi-level switch, three levels, 0 to 33 percent it's lights only. Uh, second, uh, third, it's strobe, uh, the chime only, very loud, 118 dB. And the last third section, it's both of them. The security guys, like the 2 gig and all these guys, they are buying this one for the security, for the do-it-yourselfers. Right. It's not only for water, you can use it for whatever well, alarm you want. Coffee, coffee goes, whatever. You, and it's very loud. The last product, and it's the, the latest in our collection, is the MIME. Multiple input, multiple output. It has four inputs to the module that can be uh, voltage digital or voltage analog or pulse. Wow. So, uh, four inputs and two relay outputs. Now, you can uh, select a mode, you configure this one, like a water detection alarm. You wire relay number one into an existing security panel, the old types, the L, whatever, right. the, the wire. Take two wires from here, zone number one, you mark it, water alarm. Take relay number two, zone number two is a freeze alarm. If something happens in the house, as the message goes here, relay turns on, security company knows, okay, in Carol's house, we have a water leak, something. They don't notify the cops, they call you. Depends on your agreement. Also, on, uh, if you don't want to connect security panels, you can connect other type of valves, ventilator valves, lamps, whatever you want. It's very, very generic. It's a relay, goes two amps per channel, so there are two of them. You can even disconnect them, so you have four relays, each one amp. 
Uh, how much? What's the voltage like? Uh, up to 16 volts. 16 volts? DC? DC. 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 Okay. So. That's it. So Very now, uh, for the analog input, can you translate that to a number so you can read that value with yes. a Z-Wave controller? The analog, if you if you set the scale between 0 and 12, let's say 0 and 12, you need a smart controller like Home Seer. Right. Home Seer will make an application. I, I talked to him to them weeks ago when they were here. Their application will be sold as a application for the existing users and in that one you can set each input each channel very very dynamic so because it's so complicated generic the older controllers they will they will recognize it like four devices oh, okay. four independent devices so right. then you, you have to go one by one and like Mikasa Verde recognizes as a four four devices yeah no surprise they're pretty on top of but they are complex devices Huh. We are very fast on uh, coming up with new product because we have our own transceiver. Certified. Oh, yeah. 